So we're going to do a quick reload of the camera here and get this lovely building behind me and uh, then we're going to have lunch. But just lovely. In fact, I, I could see another angle where you use the foreground of the moving cars at the background of the building. Could stay out here all day. But we must move on. Load it up. Just gonna make sure my paper is light tight. Okay. I think I just need to pre-flash this now real quick. You get some strange looks when you flash things. <laughs> okay. This one, I think we're gonna go with about two minutes, um, possibly 2.15. Um, judging off our last one, we don't wanna overexpose too much. Um, so we've got some really good sunlight at the moment. Let's just hope with composition, we got it right. Okay, 205. So, we're about to see what we got with our fourth photo. This one was of the Pierhead house. So our chemistry is on to its fourth round of developing now. Um, I reckon we're not gonna get more than five out of this, um, but it's a good learning tool, learning curve for all of us. So here we go. So it's gonna pop out our well-used developer today. Hopefully it's got just enough left in it to give us one last good print. So again, you need to be left-handed for this to work, to camera, but there we have it. As we're at what I think is probably the end of life of this developer, um, I'm gonna go for a minute and a half on this. Now, I've removed the syringe from this, just out of habit, wasn't thinking. So we'll just put it back in when we're done after a minute and 15 seconds. Just really want to make sure that that developer, which might be becoming exhausted, does its job and gets that print nice and developed. So let's take it out now. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's really dark now. So this will definitely be the last print on this bit of chemistry. Okay, get the fixer. Fixer goes in. Again, leave that in there for now. Okay, so it's been four minutes with the fixer. Again, I think the chemicals are becoming exhausted. So I'm going just a light, tiny bit over. Um, go about 20, 30 seconds over with this fixer as well. And just extract that. We're just going to pop the water in to clean it out, wash that print, get all the uh, excess chemicals off of it. Okay, so we'll do about a minute of this and then we will see how productive our day in the bay has been. A little bit of agitation, 
try and get all that fixer off the paper. With these prints as well, is when you get home, you can always put them back into a water bath for one last clean as well. Uh, the paper is very, very durable. Uh, then just hang them to dry with clothespins on a line. And as usual, the moment of truth. Whoa! Okay, so I love it. This is absolutely fantastic. Um, once again, I just barely cut off the head of this, so I need to make a note next time to always err on the safe side and put a little more headroom when doing these. You can also see this photograph is a bit yellow, and that's because the developer is, is becoming exhausted. But to tell you the truth, it actually makes for in a really old-fashioned, very cool print. Um, wow, I'm glad we stuck around for that. I'll be returning to the bay and I'm gonna shoot this again and um, I'm gonna get it just right. But for today, that's a pretty good result. But the detail's absolutely amazing.